All right, so I'm gonna be, uh, this is my chicken recipe. You've seen my brother's stuff, now here's mine, my way. Oh, extra fattening. So, I'm gonna be using some butter like this. I don't know how much yet. I'm gonna be putting in some organic paprika, because you gotta have something other than sweet. But I'm gonna be putting in vanilla, because I'm gonna go for a sweetness, because this is what I like. Pure vanilla, uh, pure almond extract here, you know, of course. Got some mace. Got some ground nutmeg, uh, you know, uh, cayenne pepper, nothing too stubborn as much. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, uh, collagen, uh, cow collagen, because I want to put it on my uh, chicken steaks, because I got the chicken that's cut like steak. And then I got my raw unfiltered honey, and then I got my organic coconut palm sugar, which is uh, all healthy sugars, and then it's going to go right into the yonder bag you see here right on these some bitches looking all damn delicious <clears throat> wish I had some uh, vodka to throw in there too but I don't got any oh and Jackie one more thing what I saw right back here you see you got this uh, organic peanut butter and so organic peanut butter and any peanut butter contains a lot of uh, extra oil that uh, is just floating on the top and so I was thinking about putting some of that peanut oil in the chicken from one of these. And the other thing was I was going to bread it. And uh, you'll see what I'm going to bread it in. I'll give you a little hint. It has something to do with this almond extract right here. And uh, you'll see more on that in, uh, when I go to cook it. Oh, yeah. And also I'm going to be putting uh, carob powder in there. This is known as locust bean powder, and uh, it's uh, not at all, not at all cooked, and it'll it'll turn you into an Israelite of some great renown, and you'll defeat Goliath, and you'll go on to become a great master of kung fu. Okay, that's stupid. The okay, so the first thing I'm gonna put in there is paprika. I don't really know the amount with this, so uh, I don't know. I guess whatever you think is best, because. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to put some vanilla in there. And, I don't know, it's a little bottle. I'm going to like, I'm going to like kind of... Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I'm like, well, God damn. No, I'm going to put some almond in there. And I'm going to pour like a good... Oh, well, that. There we go. And then. <laughs> some mace. I don't know. What do you think? Just like a little. Just give, poof. It, da give it a couple dashes. Poof, there. Poof. Yeah, there we go. And then. Some ground nutmeg. I have no idea on this one, so you're going to have to advise me. Give it a triple spliff. I don't think much came out. Uh, oh, you can see it there. Oh, uh, I guess it did. Hmm. Okay, um, collagen. This is Moo Boy collagen. It's from the cows. I don't know. This much? Sure. Compared to my own mouth, you know? Can you see it? Yeah. And then we're like, ooh, coconut palm sugar. Well, fuck yeah, bro. But first, let's add the honey because I can't open that. And then I'll be like, I'll be like, I'm saying? Totally. And then there's like a big blob of honey in there. It's not that big really. Actually. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Damn it. It takes forever for it to come out. <laughs> Making honey spill from a bottle as All right. the poo descends from the heavens. Now. I must cut this open. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and then we'll be like, uh, we'll be like, oh, yeah. there you go. Wow, yeah, super sweet. Yeah, hell yeah. And then, and then, the last part, and this is really important. Every bitch needs to pay attention. What I do here. Yeah, 
not good enough. Yeah. It's got to be a real carabiner. We want like a good ladle full, you know. Compare this to my mouth. Anyway, pretty tasty. <clears throat> and then I guess the final thing is, oh yeah. A shitload of salt. <sighs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Salt, salt, salt. It's salt, salt, salt. And you can cut now if you want. Whatever you want. Do, do, well, do. we gotta add more, um... Let me think here. What was it? Corn nutmeg. Oh, okay. It doesn't come out right. Yeah, smack it on your forehead, that'll do it. Alright, that's good. <sighs> oh, I did it. Yeah, you forgot the oil. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Uh oh. <laughs> That's just a stupid method. Okay. And then yeah. We just, uh, yep. There's your peanut oil. Uh, and then we don't want too much. Yeah. Oil you don't want more than that anyway. Peanut oil, strong, baby. Yeah. Strong. Look at that lips. Strong magic. Strong. Strong. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, I need to get uh, other oil. Let's see here. Eh. Yeah. Um. Fuck it, dude. Just uh, coconut oil. Yeah. Oh, uh, you mean coconut? Avocado. Avocado. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Well, what's shooting out of there? Avocado oil. Jeez, it doesn't exactly stay in the bag very good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit. Why is it turning into a mist that wants to float across the kingdom? Um. Okay. Let me. Let me. Uh. There you go, yeah. Oh, that's a it's nice one. It's the sound of my farts. Subtle. Oh, uh, yeah. But deadly. Don't right. breathe this, kids. Avocado mist. Okay, actually, breathe avocado <laughs> mist. Pretty good. Yeah. I'll change my mind. Is that enough oil? I don't know. I don't know. Dude, it just leaks everywhere. Like liquid nitrogen. Put it in slow motion, be like smoke rising everywhere. Yep. It's gotta be enough oil now. Yeah, maybe. He's gotta massage it all together with the usually with the bag clothes it's easier, but whatever. Massaging it like a newborn on its face and body all at once. Because <laughs> your hands are so big and the newborn is so small. Oh, put cute little newborn. <laughs> oh, totally. Um. More. More, master. What are you talking about? Now we close it up. And I've spent a billion years on this YouTube video. Oh wait, I have to touch these out the air. Oh, hi there. Hey kids, did you know that eating chicken is good for the tendons that lead from your neck down to your dick? And did you know that your head is the same as your dickhead? It's a true fact. Also, did you know that women pee blood once a month? 
and it comes out of a little hole right at the base of their nostrils. Okay, there we go. Uh, I, I think I, I did yeah, it. Yeah, it'll work. Alright, put it in there. Like that texture? I don't know. <laughs> You know I love you. I've loved you my entire life. I'm talking to the camera, not you. Goodbye. So I forgot to add in some of the uh, cayenne. This is, you know, red stuff here. So y you can probably tell me when to stop. I just want to add a little flavor. Yeah. Because I forgot to add some. I already added everything else. All right, that'll work. Yeah, you can put a little more salt in there. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. I put a little yeah. too little, so I'm gonna. Cause it, I, when you grind it, you think you do it, but it takes too long. Dude. So I'm gonna put. Keep going. There we go. There we go. Add more salt. There we go. Here's the chicken after it's all marinated for a million years in a tomb. Surrounded by ancient jewels, guarded by a sacred dragon, deep in the bowels of a sacred fountain. Was that a simpering dragon? A, uh, I don't know. Something dragon. Sacred? Oh. No. In a secret fountain. And all that stuff. And we got our blue cornmeal here. Blue cornmeal meal. And then I'm going to mix it with some of this almonds that I ground up and that's going to be um, uh, going on the exterior of this as a breading for yeah. scoops Hagen does okay I don't know what I'm saying ladies and gentlemen you're about to witness the world's first live breading <laughs> That was a joke we made uh, about Tim Benedict, you know, the guy who inspired Kip from Napoleon Dynamite. Down in Emmett, he never ate, like, he just ate Wonder Bread, so we'd try to give him bread, you know, that was whole wheat so he wouldn't die immediately when he was coding or whatever. So then, um, there was just this joke where we were just, there was a bunch of drive-by shootings going on in Caldwell, and, like, I was, like, trying to deal with people's, like, crying over everyone dying that I knew there. Then, like, it was funny because we were, like, we were going to do a drive-by breading past his house and, like, throw bread at him. And in the moment when we were talking about it, everyone was laughing so hard because it's, like, that panicky laugh of, like, you can't believe how bad society is. Yeah. But then it's even worse now by far. So, you know. Yeah. We had to make him, uh, you know, whole grain bread uh, stuffing for Thanksgiving so multiple years so he wouldn't just yeah, die. Yeah, of course, I'm going to eat. This is the uh, dry roasted, salted. Yeah, you get that in there. Put dry roasted, salted there. almonds. Yeah, and then some bunch of cornmeal. Yeah, that's traditional. These chunks, though, that's not so traditional. Oh well, yeah, those just formed. I don't know. No, I'm just fixing it. No one's fault. Yes, please. I should have used a. What do they call it? A. A consistency agent? Whatever. I'll go with that. Totally. I'm a consistent here. agent. He's always consistent. <laughs> okay. Sure. A double O2. He's always consistent. <laughs> He's the most consistent oh, no. agent we have. Yes. He had to poop his pants while fighting <laughs> the bad guy because it was 7.02 a.m. And that's just when he goes. <laughs> Okay then, uh, I guess we'll seal this up and shake it around or whatever we do. Do it. Do the, do the live breading. De-bread that thing, bread it and then re-bread it and then tread it. Bread it till it's deaded. Bread it till it treads. Yeah, we'll talk about it on Reddit. Oh wait, that, some website's too dead. Dude, every website's dead now. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh man. All the poor robots who made those websites, you know. 
Think about those work those poor robots, man. Yeah, what about the robot economy? Yeah. Mmm, nice and grimy. Fire. Is it the fire of desire? Probably. Could be. Let the fire get higher. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. That's what grilling's all about, mate. Is it? Are you sure? Yeah. Parts of the chicken that weren't tiny little Talking about poke on bread nicely. They're turning into delicious chicken specimens. Oh yes, dearie. I love a good cooking. Just like I love a good landmine removal in the South Pacific. Totally I did this. Oh yeah, totally. Mm, yes, you love my lies. Somebody's lies. You know, Martha Stewart, did you know she secretly was a ninja assassin in the South Pacific? It's that was a true before story. the plague hit. Yeah, it's before the plague hit. Now she just makes crappy cooking videos copying me. Yeah. I'm staring at you, Martha. I'm going to beat your fat ass. Hopefully. I want to see her take down Martha Stewart. Yeah, me too. Awesome. She's got those big moose hips, she can do it. Yeah, the big moose hips will do it. Oh man, that was a good snap. That was like an elk bone that's been left in the sun too long snap. Oh, just the right amount of time. Just the right amount of time. You know, this is how the Cubans eat. Okay, sure. And the Thessalonians, they eat like this too. And the uh, the Fetatonians? We don't talk about them. All of the uh, cults of the 19th century agreed they were banned. Your mom's banned. Probably. Nah, my my mom has her own special church. Uh, the of the devil. <laughs> no. The church of the kinky devil. The church that invented the devil. Wow. They're cooking real well. Yep. These big ones are cooking surprisingly quick. Like cooking into the bones. Beware the bones. Yeah, they got bones in them. Those are our chicken steaks. Mm. Yep, you see the sugar, all the sugar Ooh. content that I put in really helps them cook, doesn't it? Yeah, Shit, it's God so damn. hot. God damn. Right, that one's done. That one's straight up done. Fuck, it's like roasting with sugar. Burning with sugar. See, sugar? It's good, useful calories for ex exercise, healthy sugars like honey and uh, coconut sugar, palm sugar. Because look at that burn, baby. Ooh. Damn. Oh, 
Oh yeah, show me the bubbles, baby. Oh, give me the scrubbing bubbles. Let me see those little bubbles pop. Oh. Oh yeah, give me flame, give me sensuality. See, no one can smell what the rock is cooking because they're all from the, uh, a year ago and this ghost. Can you smell what the rock is cooking around the river bend? Yeah, totally. Right can you see bend. what the tongs are grabbing? Mmm, look at that bone. Yeah, grab by that bone, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gotta cook more on that bone. Bone That's cut. the meat. That's yep. the meat. That's the good stuff. I gotta prepare this one for the bony boner. Ow. Hot. Take it from the grill. Very good. Very juicy. One by one, they are perfected. Look at this smoke with buttery goodness. Sizzle and pop. Smells like sweet Szechuan delicious. I don't even know. Man, that was pretty much done. <laughs> done the smaller ones. The carob actually makes it like light on fire sometimes on the chicken. It's real hot. Yeah, I like it that way. Real carbony. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Each one sizzles. Can't stop the sizzle. Only the three remain. The big bony boys. Yep. The bastards of Bootleg Hill. The briskets. The briskets of Triscuits. Yeah, it's looking good with Triscuits. Yeah. And now for the photographs. <laughs> 